Hi guys, today's Friday, December 22nd. I'm on my way to Kmart, and of course, traffic is pretty bad. Everybody doing their Christmas shopping. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go buy some pajamas for the little children that live in my apartment building. Um, there's a family that lives upstairs. It's, uh, they're from Haiti, and uh, the father has been here for several years. But the mom and the two children came over about two years ago. And uh, there's a little girl named Asty. She's eight. And the little boy's name is Handy, and he's five. And they're so cute. They love me to death. They call me Miss Gita. <laughs> and uh, the first summer that they were here, which was a year and a half, not this summer, but the year before, I bought them some little scooters. And um, I went onto YouTube and watched some videos on how to assemble them and finally got them put together. And they, I bet they have put hundreds of miles on those little scooters. They're so cute. Of course, I'm attached to them. <clears throat> well, I saw the dad yesterday and I asked him if they needed some warm winter pajamas. And um, he said, well, they don't have any. Um, so Kmart has them on sale this week, buy one and get one free. So I can get two pair of pajamas for $14.99. So that's where I'm headed. But I was just thinking about Mama and um, the Christmases that she wasn't depressed and laying in bed smoking her camel cigarettes. She would be up cooking. So this one Christmas, um, she was making her favorite thing to make and that's what she called a Japanese fruitcake. Well, none of us in the house could stand it. I didn't like it. My sisters didn't like it. Um, it had about five or six layers, and it was seemed to me like it was about two feet tall. And it had all of this icing with the coconut and pineapple and maraschino cherries. And I don't know. It, it just had all this stuff in it that I just, I don't like maraschino cherries, and I don't care for pineapple much. So anyway, she has spent all day uh, making that. Japanese fruitcake. So my sister and I were in the kitchen with her and uh, when she went to carry it from the countertop over to set it on top of the chest deep freezer, that's where she kind of, you know, laid everything out that she was cooking. Well, she dropped it. <laughs> right there in the middle of the kitchen floor. Oh, she cried and she cussed and she cussed some more. She cussed a lot more than she cried. <laughs> well, my sister and I, it was all we could do to keep from laughing because we were glad we weren't going to have to eat that old Japanese fruitcake that year. So we were headed out the door to go watch a movie, so we went ahead and got in the car and went to the movie and everything. So we came home and went to bed and got up on Christmas Day. And I was a teenager then. I was probably about 13. So we weren't expecting Santa Claus or anything like that. So we were helping Mama put everything on the table, and um, she always baked a ham at Christmas time. So there she comes to the table with that damn Japanese fruitcake. She had scooped it up off the floor and molded it all back together. <laughs> so not only did we have to eat the Japanese fruitcake, we had to eat a dirty one. <laughs> So I was just wondering if anything like that had ever happened to y'all. And if you want to leave your comments, I'd love to read them. Thanks, guys, and keep on coming back. Bye.